Hey guys, it's Jake here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can increase your brightness inside of Minecraft Java 1.17, ready for the Caves and Cliffs Part 2 update, also known as Minecraft 1.18, which is coming out in just a few weeks time from the time I'm going to post this video. This tutorial will show you guys how you can increase the entire brightness of your Minecraft world, which will definitely increase the brightness inside of your caves so that the new caves will look amazing. You can see them in full detail. Also, it will increase your brightness at night time so you can see the overworld where all your bases and everything during the night time it just makes it easier to look out for phantoms and stuff so if you're excited smash the like button and yeah let's get straight in to the tutorial okay guys so as you can see when i'm in the minecraft world everything is bright you know it's daytime everything's nice but as soon as i head into a cave yeah it gets a lot darker there's a creeper over there as well but yeah even just heading straight down into this little tiny cave you can see you can barely even tell what's going on on the screen right now it's so dark and it's just not a nice experience and this is going to get even worse when the huge huge caves and stuff start becoming more regular in the 1.18 update which is only like a few weeks away so yeah i'm going to show you guys how you can increase your brightness so the caves are fully lit and you can see them in all their glory all right guys so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your minecraft is completely closed just shut down the game you don't want it running in the background at all it'll just completely mess up the tutorial the next thing you're going to want to do is head over to your desktop and on your keyboard just hit the windows key and r and it'll bring up this little box in the corner which should say run or something like that on it if you're on a windows computer you're going to want to type in exactly what i've typed in here which is percent app data percent type in that word press enter or hit ok and it should bring up this file right here go ahead and find the one that's titled .minecraft go ahead double click on that to open it and now this is basically just all different information about your game there'll be more or less here depending on how much you mess around with mods in the game so i have a couple mods so mine's a little bit longer but you know it'll it'll depend on how much you mod the game you're going to want to find the one which is titled options it should be down here it should be a text document go ahead right click on that and go to open with and then go ahead and click on notepad it should bring up something that looks similar to this where you can see all this different information about the game you're not going to want to mess with too much of this it'll just completely mess up the game if you do change something please please remember what number it was before you changed it so you can always change it back if you don't like what you did but what you're going to want to find is this one down here which is called gamma now by default it should be set to 1.0 to make your game as bright as you want, you can change this to whatever. I normally just go ahead and make it 100.0. That makes all the caves nice and lit up, just like the overworld, without it like overexposing or anything. So that's what I set it to. Once you've chosen your number, go ahead, click File and Save. Then you can go ahead and close out of this. Close out of this .minecraft folder as well. And then you can head back into game. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm in the same spot, same world as before, but now if I go ahead and turn around, you can see that the cave is fully lit up, there is no issues with visibility, the creeper's still here. But yeah, we go ahead and go down here, now you can see exactly what is going on. This isn't a very nice cave, is it? But anyway, yeah, you can see exactly what is going on in this Minecraft cave right here. And yeah, you don't have to change any settings in the actual game. Once you've done that thing in the notepad, it'll just automatically be like this the next time you boot up the game. If I go ahead and switch myself, I cannot type, switch myself to spectator mode and we go ahead and drop down. You can see that it's working in all the different caves around here. You can see perfectly exactly what you need to be seeing. But yeah, this works incredibly well. I'm super happy with this. That this is the thing you can do in the game because I personally prefer being able to just mess around with the brightness settings and see exactly what's going on inside of the caves. But yeah. That is going to be the end of the video right there. If you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button down below. It would really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.